Mind Gap Podcast. Everybody, welcome to Mind Gap Podcast. I'm Doug. I'm Justin. And Doug, how the hell was Seattle? Man, I tell you what, I gotta say, um, if you want to hide from Boeing, the best the best way to do it is to get on one of their planes because right? you put them in a dilemma. <laughs> one, you could easily be killed, but two, it'll be on one of their planes, so it'll just be mm-hmm. more trouble for them. So, you know, hide in plain sight and hit them where they're like, God damn it, is it worth it? Right. Is it worth it to you, use our own plane to assassinate this guy? You made him. You made him think. You gave him the ultimate think moment. I was like, "Your move, Boeing." <laughs> <laughs> Playing chess with your PR. That's right. Playing chess with your product, which is not great. So right. you know, take that as you will, Boeing. <laughs> um, no, I went to Seattle last week, and thank you, Justin, for uh, for doing a great job. And shout out to Volucci for hopping in and doing such a wonderful job. It was an Absolutely. excellent episode. And uh, I have some bits to continue on from that previous episode, so I'm excited for that. But Seattle was my first time there. Uh, Overall impressions, like, uh, it's an interesting town because it's on the fucking water. It's a port town, Mm -hmm. you know? It's on the Puget Sound, baby. And so you got, like, a lot of shipping. Puget Sound. I was trying to think of that this morning. That that word just came into my head randomly, I think, because we were talking. You're thinking non-fungible is probably what you kept coming to. Puget Sound. You know? That non-fungible is Puget Sound. <laughs> oh, God. That just sounds sounds like something you need a shot to clear up. Right? Yeah. Uh, but it was very interesting because I'm not around a lot of ports and things like that. So there's just like a huge, you know, shipping area, obviously big on seafood and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed walking in the mornings along the Puget Sound and, um, you know, just seeing the water and everything like that climate was unique because I left 84 degrees and walked into like high of 63 and it was like chilly. And I'm like, ah, man, like this is, I kind of just left this like a few weeks ago. I kind of don't want to go back to this, you know, was there just a perpetual mist everywhere? Just like not, not raining, but not dry. One day it rained the whole day. Uh, but it was just like, you get the vibe. It's like, this place is just wet, you know, it's just really wet. You yeah. know, and um, I got to try Thai food for the first time while You've I was never there. never had Thai food? Never had Thai food. That surprises and, me. Well, the thing is, like, everyone's like, hey, if you like Chinese food, you're going to you're gonna like Thai food. And I believe them. But it's one oh. of those things where, like, if I go to a Thai place, like, I don't necessarily know what to order. I, I'm scared. You know, like, everyone's like, okay. just get Pad Thai. I'm like, yeah, but what's in it? What other bullshit is in there with this Pad Thai? Mostly sugar. Of. So it's delicious. Nice. Uh, so, uh, I met up with some of my other coworkers and we went out to eat and we found, uh, we were going to go get pizza, but then we we're like, no, let's go to this Thai place. I'm like, I'm down. Let's do it. All and, right. uh, it was fantastic. Um, what'd you, what'd you get? I, you know what? I forgot the name of it already. Uh, but it was, it was so delicious. No, here we go. Yeah. I looked this up recently. I'm going to fucking find it. You know, <laughs> I'm going to fucking find your goddamn menu. Show me your menu. You piece of shit. Um, it was a noodle dish, if you can believe it. Um, that sounds like you're on the right track for a I'm good meal. On the, whoa, there's a something there called the Angry Ocean is one of their... <laughs> All right. I'm into that. Do you want the Angry Ocean? <laughs> Do you want the fury of the ocean? Because it will come right to your house and it will spank you. Oh, boy. Uh, it was called the... That's not it. Um, this is a big fucking menu. It is a big menu. It's fantastic. Uh, fuck it. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Uh, <laughs> but it was a noodle dish. We can at it least say that. It was a noodle dish. It may, was it black noodles? I don't know if I could say that. But um, it was stir-fried wide rice noodles with chicken, fresh broccoli seasoned with flavorful soy tossed in a hot wok. And it was delicious. Hey, all right. That sounds great. Yeah. It was like, and the noodles were like really f- wide. Yeah. Very thin. And they were absolutely delicious. And I got a little bit of heat on it, not too much. So like, what's your, you know, what's your preference? I, I like, I like a little bit of heat, but I, you know, I, I'm gonna, I want to 
I want to just have normal diarrhea the next you day. You let them know, I'm. what's your heat level? I'm from the Midwest. They it's go, like, I don't it. want blood on my stool. That's how right. much I want, you know? Right. So I got a little bit of kick, but it wasn't too crazy. Mm-hmm. And it was absolutely fucking delicious. I'm like, all right, I'm in now. Now I got to start finding out, you know, Hell I got to yeah. find more Thai places. So it was really, really good. Uh, downside. Uh, this sounds like such a, you know, elitist thing to say, but there's a lot of homeless people there, man. It is, it is, it is, it is bad. It reminded me a lot of Austin when I was in Austin. And uh, I also learned that Seattle, uh, one of, if not the most expensive place to live in the U.S., which kind of caught me off guard. I was more so than California. More so. It's 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 a very expensive place. And unfortunately, due to, uh, you know, systematic racism and stuff like that, it makes it really difficult for uh, people to find homes or, you know. Things like that are yeah. just very, very pricey. So a lot of homeless people. I got to see uh, the f- first time in my life I saw someone smoke crack, um, which was an That's experience. Fun. Check it off the list. Done. Um, they were very adamant. They're like, hey, if you're going out, uh, please don't walk down this street uh, when it's dark. Okay. Uh, please make sure you take Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> so they uh, prepped you. Yeah, um, but uh, I, I it, that it was a very walkable city. Like everything I needed sure. to get to, I walked to. Whereas other places I've been to, I had to take an Uber everywhere. But it was so nice yeah. just to be able to walk wherever I needed to go. Um, also, things closed really fucking early. Like in the that downtown doesn't surprise area. me for some reason. The uh, the Thai place I went to, they're like, we got there at six thirty. They're like, yeah, we're closing at seven thirty. And I'm like, really? Okay, that surprises me. That's yeah, that's really early. I, I thought you like, were like, oh, nine o'clock, but seven thirty. Seven thirty, man. And of course, like, there's a whole bunch of these like you know coffee shops. They're definitely closed at like mm-hmm. three, four, right. five. You know, I'm like, where do I eat? <laughs> like at night, like where do I go? Well, it's all fishermen. They get up in the early in the morning, so mm-hmm. like everyone's day is shifted. I feel like there. Yeah. Uh, so you had to go find some other places uh, to grab a bite. But overall, like yeah. I really enjoyed the food. Um, really enjoyed the atmosphere. There's something about being by the sea which is always just unique for me. You know. Also, I, yeah. There's fucking mountains, <laughs> not too far from there either, which is like, oh shit. You get a, a whole deal. range of you've got ocean, yeah. you've got mountains. It's yeah. yeah. I would uh, I would really like to go to Seattle for a day and then leave and go out into the wilderness. I think that would be sure. really really fun because honestly, I feel like hikes. Yes, because there's so much nature around there that would yeah. be really cool to check out. Whereas, like you know, the city of Seattle, I'm like ah, you know, it's fine. Like I, you know, I I, I, I feel like I got what I needed out of it, but I wasn't like, I'm not dying to go back to the city itself. So did you guys make it to the, uh, that Pike place fish market I walked the through one it. where they throw, would you see them throwing fish and stuff? No, I walked through it like in the evening, whatever. I was okay. just like, eh, you know, it's fine. I, I was just, I didn't, I needed a good reason to go there and I couldn't find a good reason to go there. Cause a lot of the places it was just like, there wasn't like, there wasn't like a restaurant around there that I really wanted to go and, and, sure, whatever. Yeah. and the timing that I had to go there was also not great. So, um, yeah, but overall it was great. To, I've never been to the Pacific Northwest, so it was nice to be able to finally make it over there, check it out. Uh, it was uh, almost a vacation. I was still work, yeah. doing work, but I didn't have to do a ton of work while I was there, and I got to meet up with some cool people, which was fun. So uh, that's overall, awesome. you got was, a real life a great experience. You got a real life wolf interaction too. I did. Our buddy Wolf Slore, if you've right? listened to this podcast or you're part of our Discord community, link in the description down below. Uh, I got to meet the mighty Wolf in real life. We hung out for an hour at a coffee shop, and it was goddamn delightful to see his wonderful face in person. Gave him a couple big hugs. We had some great talks, and it was awesome. It was great. That's too. so cool. It was great to meet him. So that's, that's uh, it's so exciting. Like throughout all of this, this dumb dickery that we've done on this podcast, uh, we've not only connected with people online, but then we've gotten to meet them in real life, which is fucking cool. It's totally it's really, yeah, all corners of the globe, too, from Australia to Seattle yes. to yeah. know, it's just it, to New York. It's just wild. Like, I'm going to see Jared in September. He's going to come stay at my house. That's it's awesome. So fun. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. I got to get, so. we got to get up to the Pacific Northwest. Beth and I were this, this close to moving up there. If it yeah. we were, Looking at Bellingham, which is about an hour, I think hour, hour and a half north of uh, of Seattle. And mm-hmm. just again, the area like I feel like that that climate or that uh, just that environment is I feel like I would thrive there. I feel like that's like, that's got Beth and me written all over it. I agree. Uh, it's just so far from family like that's yeah. we couldn't and family and friends. We just we it was one of those where like, man, if we do this, like we are truly sitting out on our own. You're committing to it. Yeah. It's a thing. And to your point, every house we looked at up there was like $500,000 and it was 
woefully, woefully like in shambles. Like it, it's yeah. not you're like 500,000 doesn't get you like, a, oh, it's a decent. We can fix this up. The 500,000 is like this place needs to be gutted. Someone yeah. someone did a terrible job designing it in the 80s and then it, yeah. then they just stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's tough. It's with, rough with with all that. But uh, also the climate up there is like, you know, they always talk about it. You know, it's like yeah. often considered like with London, you know, with, right, right. Uh, just kind of just gray. Which just not how it is. It's just like the, their their highs and lows are muted. Like they don't get super hot. Right. They also don't get like a ton of snow. It's just right. in this forty to sixty degree range. You know, right. like which just for me, I'm pneumonia. like like listen, I hate winter. Pneumonia. I hate winter, but I love my summers, man. And I right. really want to have my hot weather. So I don't, uh, you know, to be like, yeah, man, it's almost the end of May. And it's like, oh, here's your 63 degree day. <laughs> Enjoy it. I'm like, fuck you. It's so you much so one. that so many, so it. many homes don't even have like air conditioning built into it because that's wild it's to me. Just so naturally cool most of the yeah. time. So, yeah, just open a uh, window, which is also becoming a problem because of climate change. Now people do need AC. So it's like, right. oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that you like summer so much. I just feel I, like me too. Like, yeah. I think it's more about the vibe of summer than anything. It's 100% just agreed. like, I love that there's just more sunlight. Uh, yep. I love that the, the sun is out more often. Uh, I love that it's warm. I love just being able to get out and just, there's, I feels like everything is open for business in the summer. Like, people are out. They're having people they're are doing out. Things. There's yeah. activities like yep. that's when like summer. I don't go to a bunch of them, but like if I wanted to, like almost every Friday night in our downtown, there's something going on. Right. Whether it's like people bring out their old cars and hang out or whatever. And there's like the carnivals right. and like just there's so much more happening. You know, kids are out from school. So it's like go hang out when you're a kid. Summer's the fucking best thing in the world. Oh, yeah. You just get to go out and do that. You know, so yeah, like is it Fourth of July. Love Fourth of July. Like, there's just a lot of like. I just get excited. We were like fall. I'm like, great. School starts again. When I was a kid, yeah. I'm like, uh, it's you know. weird. I still have that. Yeah. Like when 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 fall comes around, I get irrationally angry when I see a back to school ad. Yeah. I'm like, no. And I'm like, Dude, I know you, that was the worst when you were a kid. On Monday. And yeah. you saw the ad. You're like, is it really that close? And he's like, yeah, man. It's just a couple weeks away. Oh, you know. I hated it so much. And as an adult, oh, I realized funny. summer's not that long. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that long. It's really it's like, not. And like what? Uh, two and a half months, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> when you think about how fast that goes, like, because just in planning, like, who's going to come up and visit where we're going to go this summer? I'm looking at it. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, our, like, the weeks are just filling up, flying by. I'm like, this is, this is nuts. How, how fucking quick it goes by goes. so fast. And before it you does. know it, you're like, they're like, oh, by the way, um, we've hit our peak sunlight. It's going to start getting darker. No, oh, that, and I'm like, no, and that then it's might like, be one of the worst days of the year. Then we're going to fall back. And I'm like, no, like I just start getting really mad. People are like, but falls here. Yay. Sweater weather. I'm like, fuck your sweaters. I want to be sweaty. I want to be sweaty weather. That's what I want. Right. You know, I think if you had to stack rank the seasons for you, what, what order does it go? I'm sure we've done this before, but summer, I forgot spring, what you're... fall, winter. See, I'm near that. I'm summer, fall. I'm back and forth between spring and winter because I feel like spring is a lost season because it doesn't know what it wants to do. Like sometimes it snows, sometimes it gets warm. It's always That's what fall just like is. wet and muddy. No, fall is, you got that Christmas in the air, crispness in the air. Uh, you got leaves falling. You got that smell. Like I, there's something about fall. I think that's for me, fall's magical. Spring, I feel like is a garbage season. So I'm going to say summer, fall, winter, spring. I hear what you're saying about that, but with spring, it's 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 what what what's coming after that gets me excited. Because okay. yes, it's mushy, yes, it's wet, <laughs> but slowly but surely, each day grass is getting greener. Right, the right. trees are starting to get their leaves again. You get that random hot day, and you're like, "Oh fuck yeah, oh yeah!" And by hot day, I mean like 55 degrees. You know, and you're like, "Let's wear shorts." You know, do I put away my jacket now? I was like, "I don't have to like, wear this anymore." No, you know? here's another foot of snow. Right, and see, with fall is it's kind of like the reverse of that. Like it's warm, but it slowly starts working its way into the cold. Yeah, but it's like also with spring, it starts getting brighter and brighter and bright. You know, it's it's like what spring means. Right, but I will give it to you that all, all spring starts with this cold, 
which turns into a mushy, disgusting mess that eventually will, you know, ton of rain that will then lead us into the summer. Right. So, yeah. It's also the end of the school year. So if you're thinking of like being in school, it's like sure, we're sure. on the home stretch. You know, I think it's also like track agree. season. I'm like, yeah, it's track. Let's go. You know, I think we can both agree living in the Midwest that that winter the gets worst. an unfair amount of time. Yes. Like winter's here for far too long. Like, yes. and it, cause fall, winter kind of bleeds into fall and it bleeds into spring. And it's just like winter's just, it's greedy. It's taken all these, all these like extra weeks here and there. And I feel winter's like winter's the guy at like a group dinner that like orders a bunch of drinks and appetizers, eats them themselves, but then wants to split the bill at the end with everyone <laughs> equally. 100%. You know, and you're like, dude, 100%. I didn't order three cocktails. He's like, hey, man, it's good to see you guys. I haven't seen you in a while. And you're like, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. Right. Summer's like, hey, man, I just had like, you know, I just had some pitas and hummus. It's like too bad, baby. You're paying for all my shit. It's like, fuck. You Winter's know? the person that comes over for a house party. And then when everyone leaves, they're sitting on the couch going, you guys want to watch a movie or something? Yeah. And just won't get the fuck out. Winter's the guy that leaves an upper decker. In your toilet, right. you know, during the party. He's like, he won't leave. And he's like, I so I left a piece of me here for you. Good luck finding it. Right. And then you're like, damn it. Winner, yeah. Winner's the type of person that you're just like, did you, my underwear drawer is open. Did you go through that? Because that's weird. Like, and a little like, hey, gross. Man. Hey, man. I feel like we're closer now. All hey. right, dude. I guess it's about time to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Say hi to spring. You just pissed all over your floor. <laughs> <laughs> don't step in it later bitches uh yeah but seattle was good traveling's fun and you know what else is fun what is it checking out the link in the description for links to our discord for links to our merch at redbubble and also if you're watching us on youtube hitting the like button hitting the subscribe button training youtube algorithm it's like hey these guys are cool i'd like to see more of this shit it's like cool i got you brother i got you and if you're listening to us on your audio platforms, hitting the like and review and all that good stuff, and then sharing it around. Just be kind. You know, don't share it like an upper, upper decker, but if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine too. You know what? You're still sharing us. I don't give a shit. I give you full authority to do that. Tell them Doug sent you. And by the way, leave a mind gap sticker on their toilet, which you can get at redbubble.com. It all ties together. <laughs> and also follow us on our social medias. And by social medias, I mean Instagram and TikTok at mindgappodcast. Booyakashacha! We did it. We did it. So in honor of last week's podcast, where you asked Chris, hmm. what would you do to get people in that one county in South Carolina mm -hmm. to be aware of cicadas? Those we actually, I, I made some calls and I said, hey, Ooh. we've got some open ad space. Ooh. Do you want to do you want to advertise? And they said, yeah, we got you covered. So fantastic. Here we go. You've heard it outside your stores, your schools, and your home. That is the sound of the cicadas. The radical left is fine with this horde of illegal creatures invading our lives, especially during an election year. Make no mistake, these insects are here to do one thing, steal the election. It's time for you to do your part as a true American and make sure these red-eyed demons don't vote this November. Drown out their socialist propaganda with your banjos and prove once and for all that you are going to stand up for what's right, America. I'm Donald Trump and... I'm gonna come. There, there you go, man. Add, add well that's, played. That is powerful stuff. I, I I, that's, that's powerful. Yeah. That's really. We take your money. We'll do it. We'll take we'll your do money. It. You're no, that dick guy. That, could, that space could have been yours, buddy. Could have been yours. <laughs> could have been yours. <laughs> oh, man. I had a lot of yep. fun with that. And real quick, <laughs> real quick, I want to talk about the, the cicada thing, too, because like I heard yeah. like, you, you and Vellucci made a really good point in the last episode, which was people being confused about a cicada scream versus a siren. Yeah, and Chris how, made a how? wonderful like comparison with like you know if five cats meow you're not going to be like oh my god that is <laughs> that is a fire truck you know what I mean like, <laughs> <laughs> right but 
Where I am, the cicadas are very thick. They're very hot. They're they are getting ready to fuck right now, and the 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 noise is is loud. And when I got back from Seattle, which by the way, people in Seattle don't know what cicadas are. They never had know, to deal with them. Never heard the word cicada. Never yeah. heard a cicada because yeah. they don't exist. Uh, so when I got home, I was like, oh shit, these guys are out in full force. And so I actually did just a random recording on my phone in my driveway, and this is this is what they sound like. Yeah. Pretty loud. Pretty loud. It is. It, it sounds, it's weird because it just sounds like just an intense white noise. That's just like you walk yeah. out into, you're just like, is that my ears? Like, you yeah. know, when you're in real silence and you just hear mm-hmm. that kind of like noise in your ears. Like, do I have tinnitus? In my, is it tinnitus? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, in my nice, ears, yeah. like, no, it's just cicadas. Yeah, so I was just in my driveway, and that's how loud. I just put my phone up in the air, yeah. and it picked that up. Like, Jesus Christ. It's wild. And you can't really tell too well in this, but it was at such a pitch, like, it's just constant, that there was this pitch, like, this high-frequency pitch that you could just hear outside. It sounded like someone was sawing through something just constantly, like, who's like they doing had, work? They just had, like, a miter saw going, like, just, just the- like, yeah, and I'm like, what is that? And I was like, okay, that's there's so many of these cicadas out right now making this noise that is it's creating its own frequency, that's this pitch wild. that is wild. But I was also a lot like, well, that sounds like a siren. Yeah, I was like, that sounds weird, but that's not like I never heard a siren just one pitch the whole time not moving. You know what I mean? Like, right? It's this just there's this constant noise outside of my window. Must mm-hmm. be a siren. Also, I wasn't like, gee, I should probably call the cops because as I'm outside, guess what's everywhere? Fucking cicadas. <laughs> everywhere. All over the sidewalk, Thank all you. over mailboxes, all over yeah. fences, all over my doorstep. They yeah. are everywhere. I wasn't for one second being like, gee, I wonder what's making this noise. You oh, know? wow. The trees are screaming. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. I went on a bike ride with Natalie today, and we were just like riding through, which you thought were just like a sea of corpses, but there's a couple of them that just would go and like come up at you. One of them landed on my shirt, and I was like, "All right, you can hang out there for a little bit." And I went to move him, and he goes ah! and like like flew by my face. I was like, "Jesus, man, I'm just trying to help you." But like Natalie would go by him, and they would jump up and be like, "Ah!" As she rode by on the bike. It's wild, man. It's, it's fucking just, weird. It's, it's and again, wild. we talked about. It. Not that far away here in Michigan, we don't have them at all. Yeah, I hear I hear none. I see none, and I don't understand. It's only three hours away. I do not understand yeah. how none of them found their way this way. It's just it, yeah, because like Grand, to me. Grand Rapids is populated, but it's not like Chicago. That's like a no, concrete got, jungle. You know what no, I mean? No, absolutely like, not. We've got when you go to Millennium would, Park, do you see cicadas? You know? No, that's the that's thing. Weird. Yeah, that's so weird. Well, even in our neighborhood, I would argue that it is like roughly the same, uh, you know, you haven't seen yet, but you'll see. It's yeah. the same idea as your neighborhood. Sounds you know like what I mean? Threatening me. You're like, you, oh, you'll yeah. see. Oh, you'll, you'll fucking see, see it. You're, you're going to see. Out. You're going to see a house. Show you. And you're going to see grass yeah. in between the house and then another fucking house, Doug. Yeah. Yeah. It's Guess what? Be there. There's sidewalks, too. You know what will happen? By the time we get up there is when they'll start getting really rowdy. They'll show up and then we'll have to relive this all over again because you're just probably right, yeah. like a couple weeks behind us. That's exactly it. Yeah. We're going to be like, mm-hmm. oh, fuck. We, 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 we spoke their name. Like I said cicada three times and now mm-hmm. they've begun to burrow out and of the Benny's going to be out there eating all of them. You're going to be like, oh, my God. Is this going to destroy the, the insides of my dog? <laughs> Here's the thing. If <laughs> I can think of nothing worse than cicadas coming to Grand Rapids <laughs> and then having to fucking deal with that dog in... <laughs> Oh my God, I just got, like, I got actual anxiety with thinking about that actually happening. I don't like this one bit. Loki, all she does is is eat fucking cicadas, dude. So much so that I think she skips a meal. Like, I'll have her food in her dish and she won't eat it for hours. I'm like, you've been eating too many cicadas. This can't be good for you. I check her poop. I'm like, are there cicada carcasses in your poop? Like... This can't be good. You right? know, there's this one that just flies up out of her ass. <laughs> it's just <laughs> as it ah! comes out. I you remember that? It. You remember that scene in Ace Ventura? Uh, yeah. When nature calls where he's coming yeah. out of the rhino. Exactly. That's a cicada in Loki's butt. Yeah. You'd be like, you won't believe what I've seen, brothers and sisters. I've seen the face of our God. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> no more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's all I have to say about cicadas. So. 
Well, good. Okay. In case anyone who's listening has never heard them, there you go. You're welcome. I would be curious. I don't know if you have in your phone. There's like free uh, like guitar tuners and stuff that like apps you can mm-hmm. get. I'd be curious to see if you took it out tonight. What pitch that they're go- they're chirping at? They're not as rowdy tonight as they okay. were. Uh, probably because we've gotten some rain and maybe some of them have drowned or something. I don't know. But, <laughs> Fingers uh, crossed. Yeah, right. Uh, but man, I tell you that that Friday and Saturday that I was home, I was like, dear God, this what is, is happening. This is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> like literally we were on the highway and we pulled into my neighborhood and I was like, I can hear them through the windows. Like That's this is wild, dude. This is no joke. So. Is it hard? Was it hard to go to sleep? Like, did they stop at some point during the night? At night, they get quiet. I think okay. they're like, I think if we're quiet at night, we won't get eaten. It's like, eh, I don't know. You're allowed during the day, you get eaten Good too. Good job. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. The, like I said before, these things are like, it's it's God's buffet for any creatures that eat these things. They're like, yay! Here's a freebie. Go ahead. Woo! The fact that any of them reproduce is beyond me, man. It's right. like, it's purely a numbers game for sure. But goddamn. <laughs> God. Uh, Justin, um, do you know any Kyles in your life? Uh, I know a handful of Kyles. Yeah. I'd say uh, between one and one and five. Impressive. Uh, what if all the Kyles you knew got together in a town named Kyle, Texas to try and break a world record and failed? Well, I would say that my Kyles would fail too because I know between one and five. So I don't yeah. think they'd get anywhere near the world record, which is which is what? What is it? Where does the world record stand at right now? Currently, uh, the crown is currently held uh, by a town in Bosnia. They got two thousand three hundred twenty-five people named Ivan together in twenty seventeen. Oh, so, I thought this was a Kyle thing. I thought the Bosnians were named Kyle. No, they were Ivans. I think it was okay. the idea to get uh, people of the same name together in one town. And apparently okay. the Kyles, they only got 706 of them together. So, yeah, doodles, you know, far short of the 2300 was is the town in Bosnia called Ivan? Do we know? Because if uh, not, I Ivan, Ivan Bosnia. Bosnia. Uh, there's Ivan Planina, which is a mountain near Hadzici. No, it was in Kupris, Bosnia. And Kupris, Bosnia. Herzegovina back in 2017. <laughs> I can and listen that's to how you have to say it. All day, every day. Thank you. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Hearing you last week try to pronounce that tech guy's name, that was yep. the best. That was just hey. like, he's going for it. I, uh, I commit to pronunciations. <laughs> I try my fucking hardest. Fuck you. I, tr- that's, I, you get, I get uh, participation trophies. I've got a you lot do. of those. So um, apparently this isn't no, the first yeah. time that all the Kyles got together to do this. Uh, supposedly uh, last year, the official count, Kyles clocked in at 1,490. So, oh, they, so they had got, a ton fall off. They got less than half this year. They just, the I, Kyles I, are like, I just don't think this is our year, man. Yeah, like a lot of them are probably just like, dude, we tried this. We know what's going to happen. Bosnia's kicking our ass. Like we're never going to get out of here. Uh I love in this article from the AP, it says that uh, uh, Kyle's not a chart topper among popular names in the U.S. Uh, Most recent data showed that Kyle ranked 416th among male names in 2023. Oh, interesting. Oh, and by comparison, Ivan is ranked 153. Which makes sense, right? You can probably get more Ivans. so. So there you go. Yeah. So I'm I'm what I'm hearing is that the Kyles need to try fucking harder. I, what it sounds like you just said to me is like the Kyles need to fuck more to make more Kyles is what I heard from you. Yeah. <laughs> they need to try fucking harder, right? Like just like <laughs> don't don't gently do it. Like get the Kyles in there and get Kyle Jr., Kyle the get third, in, man. Yeah. Kyle the fourth. Let, let's let's make a lineage of Kyles and bring them. Yeah. Uh so what are what or what is the most popular male name right now? What's the most popular female name? Just guess. Go. I'm gonna guess. Okay, let's see. The most popular male name I'm gonna say is uh Richard. Hmm. Good guess. You wouldn't be right. It is Liam. Ah uh, yes, because of Hemsworth and the One Direction guy. Yeah. Yes. Uh as far as female names, I'm gonna say it's uh Penelope. Oh, good guess. Olivia. Ah, I was so close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and P are right next to each other. And they I want to see, so. see if I can find where 
Doug is listed on on the on the names. Let's see, do you? Uh, I don't know how I'll, I'll be able to be able to. Find, I don't know how they found this. How they were able to find this? Uh, let's see. Uh, what is what Justin, is Doug? Justin is one eighty five. In twenty twenty three, it was ranked one eighty five. In baby names, twenty twenty four. Doug, baby name meaning. There's a meaning. What's my meaning? Here behind form the name of Douglas from a survey name meaning black stream. Oh, I didn't know that. That can't be right. Douglas in the yeah, United right? States in 2023 was ranked 743. <laughs> what? You know what I'm getting? What? In 2023 it was number 4,563. <laughs> well, in this other website it was 171. Oh, that's in 1962. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what was the what was the the website they were fucking using again? I don't even like know. Not man. a chart topper amongst no nope, Liam and Olivia. Hold on. I don't know. Anyway, List point the being top baby names. Here we go. Point being, uh, there's not a lot of Dugs out there in the world. Um, I personally haven't met that many of them. When I have, I've been like, oh, like it's a big deal. I'm like, hello, Doug. And I get the same vibe from them, too, where they're like, oh, hello, Doug. And we're like, oh, how about that? I um, I, I, feel I like literally I've met-, met, I think, one in preschool, and I met one in college. Okay. And that's that's all. I've heard of You've other only- Dougs, obviously. Doug Flippy, Yeah. You know. <laughs> Doug Burgum. You know, he's oh, going that- for, you know, everyone's Who favorite. doesn't know Doug Burgum? North Dakota, you know. Uh, you've got... Uh, uh, th- that's that's Doug where Benson. Doug Benson, yes, Doug Benson. You know, yeah, you know. Uh, but outside Doug of that, McClure. there's not that many Dugs. Well, so yeah, there's Doug I know Stanhope. lots of Justins. Doug Stanhope, yeah, yeah, and you know, of course, there's Douglas Fairbanks. Obviously, yep. You know, <laughs> um, what uh, I know plenty of Justins. You know, I have heard of a lot of Justins. I've met a handful, mm. uh, but I I don't know that it's. I don't know. Is it? Do you feel like it's? I just in my head, I feel like Doug is such a uh, such a more common name. Like, do you know? Like, I don't like Justin. Just feels. I don't know. Doug feels like Bob to me. I'm like Doug, Bob, Tom. Like, it seems wow. very standard. I, like, I, 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 would, I would meet a wrong. lot. I just I know. Met, I know. Like when you're I just like, feel, man, Justin like, seems feeling. more rare than Doug. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I've Justin's met way more exotic. <laughs> It's not exotic. It's, it's an exotic, exotic all. name. All right, it let me not, tell you. It's uh, not. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm I'm using the uh, here. Go. I'm using the uh, the social security website that they used for this Liam and Olivia, and mm-hmm. we're gonna see what Douglas ranks. Okay. 2023 and later. All right. Uh, their website is hot. That hot is garbage. Awesome. It is just. We're so in like awesome. at least 20 seconds in it of loading this page now. <laughs> great let's let's keep going so yeah. <laughs> anyway maybe by the yeah. end of the show you can let me know but <laughs> all this to say if a whole bunch of dugs got together and a whole bunch of justins got together we're talking yes. hundreds for the yes. sake of like trying to get some world record what do you think the vibe of your we'll start with your people what do you so think? we're not saying Dugs and Justins are coming together. No, Justins are separately. independently meeting with each other. Yes. Dugs are independently meeting with each other. Yes. Okay. What do you think the vibe would be? The vibe. Justins? And this well, is obviously know. very absurd to be like, all Justins have a vibe. You know sure. what I mean? But like, well, look, there was, I can't remember what TV show, or there was a stand up comedian who made a joke about Justins. And they're like, well, obviously all Justins are douchebags. I feel like there is some, there's some, uh, stereotype with the name Justin where like the kid, the kid named Justin in, in school is just that fucking D bag. Uh, uh, just that little shit that, you know, in school. So mm-hmm. I feel like from a, from a stand up comedy standpoint, from a, a, a stereotypical standpoint, I feel like it'd probably be a real weird vibe, but every Justin that I've met bucks that trend. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I, I think jokes are made because there's some truth to them. Usually. Yeah. Although I haven't seen the truth in that joke. So I would say that it would probably be, uh, I don't know. I think it'd be a cool, I think it'd be a chill vibe. All right. I think, I think it would be a long time before if it was, if it was any, if they were all like me, it would be 
at least a half hour before we all warmed up to each other. Oh, hundred percent. Same. Yeah. Same with me. But what yeah. do you, would you accept Justin with a Y? How do you wait? J U S T Y N. Hmm. Ooh. I mean, I mean are it's, we? It's the same name. Is it though? <laughs> See, this is where it comes in, right? Is you it? Know? Is, yeah. is is is. <laughs> Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is is Justin we'll with the Y there. a we'll Justin? Get there. Just don't. I'm don't. just saying. Yeah. You can tease it as much as you want. We'll get there. Uh, uh, I don't know. Here's the thing. I would say, uh, fuck, that's a good one. Gut reaction, I'd say no. You have okay. your own. Justin's <laughs> go, with the go Y over there. Own. Go have your own meetup. This is this is classic Justin right here. Interesting. I figured yeah. that'd be similar, like Doug versus Douglas. You know, if someone goes by Douglas versus just regular Doug. You know what I mean? Like so. Because I guess, yeah, technically it can be a derivative or it can be its own name. Like Beth is not Bethany. Mm -hmm. it, she's Beth or just Elizabeth. like Jill is not Jillian, you know? She's like, just Jill. She's just Jill. Yeah. yeah. So like. It, technically I, can, I am Douglas. My full name is Douglas. Right. But I go by Doug. See, that's something that Justin's don't have to worry about. <laughs> yeah. We just yeah. have fucked up spellings. Yeah. You could go by Tin, you know? Tin Tin. What's up, Tin Tin? What up? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could. You'd be dumb, but you could. Yeah, you could be like just. My name's Just. My name's Jay. Justice. No, Deal Justin. with it. <laughs> <laughs> would you? So would you split the Dugs and Douglases, or would you just do? Would it you depends be everyone... on how on how much of an asshole the Douglases were. <laughs> because I feel like the Douglases would be like, well, if you're not a Douglas, then <laughs> those you know? that go, those that are Douglas that go by Douglas are different than those who are Douglas that go by Doug. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with this statement. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I, you know, I've I've heard people that you know, just like you know, I met some Davids in my life that like my name is David. I am not Dave. Right. All right. I'm like, all right, chill cool. your tits. You know, like right. relax. <laughs> you know, because you know, I, you know, and same thing like Jill. Randomly, they've been been like Jillian. She's like, that is not my name. I do that to her. I did that early on Dude. in a relationship to piss her off. I'm like, hey, Jillian. She's like, it's not my name. Stop it. <laughs> um. But yeah, like, yeah, no one calls me Douglas. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah. I mean, I call you Douglas when you're in trouble. Yeah. Well, that's what my mom used to do. Douglas, yeah. John Cochran, you know, <laughs> she'd be like, oh, I'm in fucking trouble. By the way, never done that when I've been mad at Natalie. I've never no? been like, Natalie, middle name Cochran. I just be like, motherfucker, what's going on over here? <laughs> I just scream obscenities at her. Like, that's all mother. I do. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Natalie, last night. <laughs> yeah. We were messing with each other. We're playing. We just, we just come up with these dumb games just out of nowhere. We're watching a movie and she's just like decides she wants to try and like capture my legs. Okay. Right? So she's like trying to capture my legs. I try to get my legs out of it. It just escalates to the point where like she has like some blankets and like a stuffed animal. And like I try to steal her shit. She tries to steal it back. And at one point she thought some like one of her blankets had fallen on the floor and I knew it wasn't hers. So when she went to go get it, I stole the rest of her shit <laughs> and put it by me. And I thought she noticed but she didn't for like 10 oh, minutes. Oh, she didn't? She had no idea. She has her dad's perception, unfortunately. And uh, she didn't realize it. And then she started freaking out. Like, oh my God, where's this? Where's this stuff? And I go, I have it right here. And she got so fucking pissed. She got so mad at me. I was like, why are you mad? She's like, I was scared. I'm like, of what? I thought my stuff was gone. I'm Where like, did you think it went? I was like, what'd you think? She goes, I don't know. You scared the shit out of me. And I go, hold it right there. Hold it right there. How hard was it for not to laugh, though? And I was honestly, I was just like, I was pretty stern. I was like, uh-uh. Oh, were you? you okay. Don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get to say that word. She said it so well. It was yeah. like, she, it came out of her mouth just like, it was perfect. Dude, done. she's been doing that since she was a fucking pipsqueak. And I was like, like no, 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 you don't get to do that. And then she got right. even more angry. And I was like, I just let her beat the shit out of the bed until she got tired. I'm like, you want to talk about it now? <laughs> but anyway, I was just thinking about getting mad and swearing, and that came yeah. in my, my mind last night. Does so. she? Do, like, do you guys censor yourself still around her, or do you let it fly nah, and just say I mean, you can't I mean, do I mean, that? Jill, Jill doesn't. <laughs> yeah. When, when Jill got gets it. annoyed, she just lets it go. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. All right. I do a pretty good job. Um, yeah. For the most part, like I don't, I don't let it out too much. Uh, but Jill's just like, you need to get in there and clean up your shit. <laughs> okay, so we know where she gets it from then. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Not to say that I haven't sworn around her. I totally have. Yeah. But I don't think I do it nearly as much as Jill does. <laughs> well, on the production call today, when she came in and we were 
the three of us were talking for a little while. I almost said just passively, it was just like, oh, that's some cool shit. Or like, yeah. I can't remember what it was, but I was like in real time editing because I'm like, I don't know where we are with yeah. this right now. Yeah. My favorite thing about her is whenever I'm talking to my friends, she'll just be like, so did you tell them about my school schedule? I'm like, <laughs> I don't. She, did you tell them that I lost a tooth? I'm like, no. I. <laughs> do you want to tell them now? Naturally. I'll wait. I'm yeah. just like, okay. okay. <laughs> Guys, now they lost a tooth or whatever. She's just like, she's if I, I'm telling you what her school schedule is going to be like this week. She's like, did you right. tell Justin that I'm almost done with school? I'm like, no, I, I, it has not come up yet. Has not. We haven't gotten to that part of the conversation yet. No, we haven't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry we haven't gotten there. It's just so funny. She's just like, what about my life? Have you told them about my life? I'm like, right. No. Tell, the, tell me when you do the Natalie corner and yeah, you just, it's right? it's five minutes of Natalie talk. It's like, no, we're actually planning for the podcast right now. This hasn't come up. So am I going to be a topic? <laughs> you are now. You are now. Yeah. Guess what? Congrats. Guess what? You are now. Um, <laughs> I, I at think... one point I had, I had a, an idea to do, it was obviously it was, I think it was right when we were on assignment desk, but Something I could have never pulled off then. Still can't now. Hopefully one day I'll have the clout to do it. But I thought it'd be fun to do a, a sketch video uh, called the 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 uh, meeting of the just or you know whatever mm. the council of the Justins. And I was gonna have. I was like, we could get Timberlake, uh, uh, Thoreau. If we could get like Justin Trudeau to like Skype oh it or God. something. Uh, and the idea, like the all these Justins and then the bit would Justin long. Then the bit would be that like Bieber knocks on the door and we're like, do we let him in? You know, yeah. Like it just, I'm trying to figure out how many Justins we could get together in a sketch. And then yeah. I was like, this is a great idea. <laughs> Fat chance. I could just see me reaching out to everyone going, hi, I'm a random Justin who likes to film things. Uh, what's Timberlake schedule like? And his agents yeah. like, please lose this number. Yeah. How did you get this number? Yeah, right. I was going to say, how'd you get this? Yeah. It'd be kind of funny because you could almost play it like the boys and that like there's certain levels of Justins. Oh, and your whole see goal that? is to like yes. level up, you know? And yes. there's like some jokes in there where like this is like the like your neighborhood council of Justins or whatever, like your 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 net your local, then there's regionals, and then there's right. like, it's like you know, it's like the state senate versus the federal like the senate. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's like we are the state justins. They're like, yeah, and then like it cuts to the very end, it's like we're the real justins, you know, like right. <laughs> We're the shadow Justins. <laughs> We're the shadow Justins. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So the Justin vibe, you think they'd be pretty good? I, I think they would be chill. I think I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get behind. I'm going to power us. I'm going to say we'd be, we'd be a chill group. What would Doug's be like though? I think we'd be very curious of each other. Do you think I, it'd be again, like wildly practical? I just don't. I, again, when I've met other Doug's in real life, I've been like, I almost like, I kind of like step back. I'm like, oh, my name's Doug. And they go, oh, ho, ho, ho. we just don't run into each other that much. So it's kind of like, well, there'd probably be a lot of that at the beginning. Oh, yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. you know, <laughs> just making cartoonish surprise yeah. noises at each other. Yeah. I think it would be, it would be very <laughs> interesting to just to, and then from there, I mean, I don't know. It probably be like any large group of people. There's going to be assholes. There's going to be uh, <laughs> cool people. Right. There's going to be shy people. There's going to be racist ones, and we'll have to identify them quickly and get them out. And weed weed them out. Yeah. The name of Doug, you know. Just there used to be, be a like, website called Doug.com. There was a Justin.com as well. Of course, of course, yeah. there was because that's how we roll. But there was a Doug.com. It's like if you're you came here, you're probably a Doug. Let's talk about what it's like to be a Doug. And I was like, I like this website. That was the same thing with Justin. That's where I learned because for for the first two weeks of my life, my grandfather called me Jason. And my, my mom was like, you're, you're going to confuse him if this keeps up. And, <laughs> but for the rest of my life, if someone misses my name, it's, they end up calling me Jason. So I have been conditioned. If I hear Jason nine times out of 10, I'll turn and look just to see if someone got it wrong. Yeah. But on that website, I learned that it's, it's, it said on there, it said most common name we get confused for Jason. I'm like, it's not just me. This is a shared experience. Fantastic. You told Do me you, that one of the first times I met you was like you get called J like Jason is a common yep. thing. I get Greg. Greg. Greg is a common, when I say my name, I say Doug. They hear the the hard G and they're like, Doug. "Oh, Greg." And I'm like, "No, Doug." Weird. Yeah. I man, that's a that's a pretty big like Justin Jason, I can see that that leap, but Doug to Greg? Do you, you do just you know share any the hard how many G. how many names again, this leads to the fact that people don't know many Dougs. How many names do you know of that end with the letter G? You know, uh, I know Craig, Greg, Doug, Haig. Mm -hmm. 
Hag's not a common one either. But it ends with G. It does. <laughs> So uh, you, you, you so you're in those things. So I, I think most yeah. commonly, yeah, like, you know what? That's like, fair. Oh, Greg, yeah. you know, oh, Greg. If they, if yeah, they don't hear the first half. I'm like, oh, my name's Doug. Like, yeah. oh, Greg, cool, you know. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I would just ask. Did you say hug? Yeah, yeah. I'll never be forget my- being in Disney World, 18 years old, at Pleasure Island, and meeting some other girls my age and just loud music just and this girl's like what's your name and i'm like doug and they're like what i was like doug they're like i can't hear you i'm like like the cartoon and they're like what and i'm like do 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 like while, singing, did you? while the music's going on <laughs> I was just that like, makes, she's just nodding. I'm nodding back to her. I was like, this isn't working. This that is makes loud. me so happy. That it's is so the dumb. worst. <laughs> terrible. I love that. So terrible. It's funny and hilarious. You, you thought that <clears throat> saying a simple four-letter name like Doug loud was too difficult. So let me <laughs> let me sing a theme song to an obscure 90s cartoon. That, By the way, obscure, at that time, at that time, not that obscure. That's true. To a 90s cartoon over the music that's currently happening in the club that made the simple four-letter name hard to hear in the first place. Yeah. I would Wonderful. also argue that's logic, terrible, baby. Terrible part on terrible job on her part, too. Because you're in a loud place, you're asking someone what's your name as if we're gonna continue a conversation. Right. She's like, and So what do you do for fun? What's your name? And I'm just right. like, Doug. And she's like, What? I'm like, Doug. She's like, I still can't hear you. And you're like, You want me to continue this on? How do you want me to make this better? Like, there's right. no way this is going to get better. So I'm doing everything I can to try and make this connection. And I'm failing. So you should we both have, failed. You should have just mouthed nonsense for an elongated period of time as if that was your name and just yeah. seen where that took her. Honestly, that brings me back to like my trip recently where yeah. we were in some like team building spaces. Like we're like, oh, let's go out to dinner as a team. And it's such a small room and it's so fucking loud yeah. that I lasted like 20 minutes. I'm like, I got to go. Like, I can't do this. Like, this is Were you guys enjoyable. like in a back, like a, like a, like one of those rooms that seat like 20 people at a table or something? Yeah, it was like a, it was a really nice restaurant that had its own space. And I was like, oh, this okay. will be nice. It'll be big. And I walked in the restaurant. I'm like, that's a tiny fucking room. And we're all supposed to fit in there. It's just standing room only. And I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, Yeah. I go in there. I'm like, I can't have conversations because I have to shout the whole time and like trying to hear. But also just this cacophony of noise. Yep. And I'm like, and there most of the people on my direct team were were introverts. Almost every one of us an introvert. And there's one woman on my team who's like she cannot handle that sort of like overstimulation. Yeah. So I saw her and then I didn't. I'm like, she's gone. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm like. I think I'm only going to be like 10 minutes behind her. And there's this other woman that I, I traveled with in Las Vegas for a conference. And I looked at her. I'm like, how are you doing? She's like, not well. I'm like, seven minutes. You and I are going to walk out of here. She's like, nice. cool. Done. And seven minutes on the dot. I saw her and I go like this. And she's like, I got to go. And I'm like, me too. And we both left. Like, we're just like, peace. We can't That's awesome it. that you found a buddy to do it with. Like, you, yeah. to, like look, you and I, we're, we're splitting together, holding each other accountable, yeah. getting the fuck out. Yeah, and we walked back, and it was awesome. Had a wonderful conversation, just walking yeah. through. Where uh, you could hear stuff. each other. Yeah, I was just like, after she and I survived Las Vegas together, which was yeah. a lot, and so like we knew each other pretty well. And I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. Like, yep. this is terrible. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, Doug's. I think we'd be a bunch of weirdos. Fun, loving weirdos. <laughs> I'd like to think you would be. Yeah. I think we'd go around and be going, Doug, Doug, Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug. That needs to be the official motto. Doug, Doug, Doug. Of the because also of the like we could bond like there hasn't been a lot of like songs that deal with Doug, you know mm. there was obviously the theme song to the commercial to the cartoon Doug, but then there was the Hangover, you know, where it was Doug, oh, yeah. Doug, Dougie, Doug, <clears throat> Doug, and of course being called Dougie Fresh, you know, sure, sure, all of which haven't minded to be honest with you. People a lot like, of Dougie Fresh. I'm like, what's up? Or you know, Doug, show me how to Dougie, and I'm like, here's the thing, I don't know how to Dougie. Right, I really don't. Teach like, me how to Dougie. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I See, that's how much I don't even know how to do it. I thought it was show me how to Dougie. I don't even know. I don't know the song. <laughs> like, teach me how to Dougie. Teach me, teach me how to Dougie. I'm like, exactly. I don't even know what that is. That's when you just got to make up the dance, man. Yeah, I just start like, I pull down my pants, you know, and just show them my, my gaping butthole. And I be pull like, down the this? pants, do the Dougie dance. 
Like my childhood. Ah! <laughs> I just do ventriloquism through my ass, just like That's Ace right. Ventura. You know? <laughs> the meeting of the Dugs got real weird real quick. You know, it's funny because we let ourselves do this. <laughs> when we let our <laughs> imaginations run wild, this is what we do. This is what we do best. <laughs> Yes. Well, we had other stuff planned, but we're running out of time, so I think it's time to move on to the game. Let's do this. Right. This is the th- official theme song now. Oh, I heard. <laughs> I like that one, too. <laughs> I help. I try to. So we're doing same thing as last week. We're doing uh, uh, ex- describe a movie, plot, in five words or less. So yes. Justin and I have up to five words to describe the plot of a movie. And then the other person has to guess. We're each going to do three. And we're going to see how well we do, whether writing these or trying to guess. That's right. So, Justin, would you like to start us off? Uh, yes. <clears throat> so uh, I've got an easy, medium, and a hard. Do you, which, which side Give do you want to start on? Give me the fucking on? hard. Let's go, We're going to go hard, hard up top. Give me winter right out the gate. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> War hero inherits family racket. Godfather? Jesus Christ! Wow. I thought that was going to be the stumper. All right, well. See, here's the I thing. Not- the, easy, the easy one's probably going to fuck me up. That's how this well, that's is going to go. Yeah. Now, if I said originally it was War Hero Inherits Family Business, would that have been harder? Uh, racket, I think, definitely helps. I may okay. have still gotten there. Hard to say. I, but I changed it to Racket because I thought business would be and that was the one Hag and I came up with was War Hero and Herod's family business. Yeah. And I, I texted him. I said, I'm changing it to racket. He goes, that's too easy. And I was like, I said, business is very like this at least leads you to the well. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I thought business would be a little. Too I think it's open-ended. fair to say racket. Um, but Cause his argument you know. was that they call it the family business in the movie. Yeah, I'm like, that's fair true, too. Yeah, I still think I may have gotten it, but. Mm-hmm. Racket definitely got me there quicker. So I Damn think Hag, All right. Hag, you have a point. Yeah, yeah I, point, I don't. Buddy. I hate giving him. I hate yeah, giving him. You got points. one. One to Hag. Fine. You know. Fine. All right. Here you go, Justin. All Native right. butcher hates immigrants. Oh, uh, gangs in New York. There you go. Boom. Boom. Yep. Look, we. I feel like we're getting too good at this game. I don't know, man. It's also <laughs> like, how hard do you want to make it? You know. Right. <laughs> Because I also I only put native butcher hates immigrants. I, that's only four words. I could have said native butcher oh, hates yeah. immigrant Irish, you know. But I was like, I think that's right. really gonna, you know, that, that that would have that would have been me doing racket instead of business. Exactly. All yeah. right. All right. Let's so go. this is this is what I consider the easy one. Okay. Um. We'll see. <clears throat> Cyborg cleans up Detroit streets. Oh, RoboCop. Nice. That's, there's no. Yeah. Very easy. Nothing yeah. there. Yeah, we're in it, baby. All right, yeah. here we go. Um, pirate steals kids of Nemesis. Uh, well, uh, Peter Pan, Neverland. I don't like which which Finding Neverland. Uh, Pan. Let's just go Pan. You haven't no. You're you you're so goddamn close, but it's not any of those. Hook. There it is. <laughs> I was like. He doesn't steal his nemesis kids in any of those movies except for Hook. So he doesn't do it in Pan. I don't know what's Pan. <laughs> it's it's a, a Peter Pan. All of those were different versions of Peter Pan. Hook specifically. Okay. Hook steals. Twenty fifteen. Hugh Jackman. Uh, Rooney Mara. Um, the one with Hugh Jackman. I think that's like. Isn't that the the prequel to Peter Pan? I don't know. Who fucking knows? All I know is that in Hook. Peter Pan exists in the real world and Hook steals his kids right. to get him to come back. To Look, I'm not world. saying you're wrong with Hook. I'm you're arguing saying. with me and I don't appreciate it, sir. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Congratulations. Fine. Uh, okay, good. All right. How about the original the- cartoon, Peter Pan? <laughs> there we go. No, let's not do that one. Let's not do that one. <laughs> actually, no, they don't get, they, they, Peter technically steals the kids in that one. Yeah, right. He does. Yeah. He does yeah. actually. That's a <laughs> he good does. point. Yeah. <laughs> Perpetual okay. child cool. steals You're right. British kids. <laughs> <laughs> orphan kidnap, orphan kidnaps rich kids. <laughs> orphan kids kidnaps 
<laughs> I was like, World War One kids. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right. Last one for you here. Um, here you go. Man, if you, I, I hope that you just roll through this, and this is the easiest one you've ever had. <clears throat> Psychopath gives cop unwanted present. Oh, uh, seven. There you go. Man, made him two. Now, I was going to... Go for a second there, I was like, oh my God, I don't know. And then I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> well, uh, the, other, the other wording on that would have been uh, journaling psycho gives cop present. Would mm-hmm. that have been harder? Yeah. Journaling would have been easier, I think. Oh, it would have been. Okay, cool. I think so. Yeah. All right. That's how the uh, like the opening credit starts with him journaling, you know? Yes. His psycho journals. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Let's see Justin, let's, let's see, see if it. together, if you can make it a perfect night. Here we go. Fratricide leads to rightful king. Fratricide. said uh i'm gonna have to ask for definition same as okay. when i gave you nona generian <laughs> fratricide. If, I look up, if i look up fratricide see i don't want to google it because i'm worried that it might yeah. say something about the movie fratricide is the killing of one's brother or sister okay so fratricide with leads the to rightful king F- fratricide leads to that's a mouthful just to say fratricide leads to rightful king uh Oh boy, shit. Uh, okay, fratricide leads to rightful king. Killing of one's brother or sister. Who killed a brother? I was going to say Lion King, but that's the killing the uncle. Uh, killing the brother or sister. Rightful king. Oh, man. No. Doug, I think you stopped me on this one. Fratricide. I don't think I did. You don't think I did? You mm-hmm. did? I don't think I did. I want you to Someone think again. Well, you, you, said, you, said, you said Lion King, that's killing of the uncle. Who, what do you mean? Well, Simba kills his uncle, right? What happens earlier in the movie? Well, Scar's not the rightful king. No. But who does, does Scar kill his brother? Scar kills his brother, but that doesn't yeah, lead and, to the rightful king. And by king. that action, eventually we get the rightful king... So is it the Lion King? It's the Lion King. Okay. <laughs> I, I was like, I didn't make wait. the the journey. I was like, if Scar it was, a, it, brother, was a stretch. it was a stretch. I should have said, yeah, yeah. So, well, Simba killed. Uh, <laughs> Simba actually killed his sister in the womb. That's so. That's yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, you didn't know about that. No. Yeah. I don't like this. Don't there like, was no like that way. There was no no contesting the lineage of who needed like to be king or queen. I don't like this bit at all. That movie's sad enough it is as it is, and Natalie loves it. And I'm like, I don't want to watch this movie. <laughs> anyway, she we hates did it, it more guys. than I do. We went Wait. to go see the live action, you know, yeah. live action one, and yeah. we got to that point. And Joe was just like, I don't want to watch this movie anymore. <laughs> When uh, when uh, Mufasa dies, yeah, when Mufasa yeah. dies, she's like, I don't like this. It's a, but wait, I was it like, a- I thought the key words in that were fratricide and king. Like I wanted to like, well, look, put king that stuff definitely, in there. yeah. Put that's why you I got was there. Like, you got there pretty I mean, quick. I did, yeah. Like I want to say that, but yeah, there is a fratricide in it. So, fratricide. Yeah. And I was I like, I'm gonna help word. you out here because you you said it. Your instincts were right. <laughs> and you're you said it, and now you're veering wildly away from it. You're like, it's not that. I'm like, I'm not gonna waste any more time like letting you wander <laughs> off. In the wrong direction. Like, <laughs> I don't want you to wander off into the jungle, meet Timon and Pumbaa, and have an adventure for a couple of years. No way, man. Absolutely no. not. By the way, last week when you said, uh, what was it? Uh, the psychotic clown tortures orphan. I was like, yeah. immediately, I was like, Batman. This is Batman. <laughs> you knew Why it right isn't he away. saying Batman? Why isn't he saying Batman? It's Batman. This is Batman. <laughs> say Batman. I was so pissed. I was like, you of all people should say Batman. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I just slowly sip from my cup and look at him. I was like, is this what other people feel when they listen to our podcast? They're just it like, ah! To, it 100% has to be, yes. It has to be. So, uh, Woo, well, fantastic. That was good. Good work. I love doing this, man. It's this is fun. one of my favorite new games we do. I really enjoy yeah. this. It's super fun. And what I love to do is I scroll through the movies that I own. And I'm like, all right, which one can I do? <laughs> oh, nice. I did. I, this one, I, I kind of, my theme was... Uh, um, more old school. I was like Godfather, yeah. RoboCop Seven. I'm like, I'm, we're going, we're going yeah. back a little ways on these. That's good. Yeah. One of these days, we're probably gonna. What will be funny is if like we duplicate, but we don't realize that we did. Like if I do one that you did, but oh, I do I've it got a running list of all these. I don't. Oh, In you're our, pulling them from mine too. 
Yep, I've I'll I've take, got your yours and mine are are in a shared document in our uh, in our mind gap thing. This is why I love you because yep. I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's a, ma- a a movie plot and five words master list. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. You're welcome. Awesome. <laughs> so good. I'll have to make sure I double check that next time before I start doing these. <laughs> Justin, what do you have to recommend this week? Well, Douglas, I just got done watching today. Uh, yesterday, I watched Dune. Today, I watched Dune Part 2. Yeah, you so did. So I'm going to recommend strongly, uh, in a full, uh, full-throated, throat-singing way, Dune, Dune Part 2. Um, Dune Part 2. Um, Are you going to do that? <laughs> or whatever the song is. I don't know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You did yeah. way better than I did. Um it's yeah, fucking. I, I tell you, uh, Denis Vigny, uh He fucking. He's just such a g- good filmmaker. It's just it's gorgeous, absolutely mm-hmm. beautifully shot, wonderfully written, acted just to the nines. It's it's just a good fucking movie, and I cannot wait to be king. No, I cannot wait for Dune Part Three. Um, very curious mm-hmm. to see uh, how they continue this story, and then and then wrap it up. And then I can't wait to see how the studio ruins it. After yeah. after he steps away and they bring someone else in to keep it going and it just tanks. Well, I don't know if you saw, but like Max is already doing a Dune prequel. Well, yeah, show. Dune Prophecy. I think he yeah. is. I think his fingers are in that though. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I want to just yeah. double check that because I. Yeah, his uh. fingers are in it. Doom prophecy. Hold on. Because I think I think Warner Brothers and Max are going to treat it like kind of like Game of Thrones, probably to some degree. They're like, how can we? They're going to milk the shit out of it. Yeah. How can we stretch uh, this? Out? I take it back. I don't see his name in here. I really. Th- oh wait, hold on. With they began development of a two-part film at a spinoff. Yeah. No. This is. I guess he's not. So yeah, I'll be curious to see how good this is then. Yeah. Because I think the thing that I think he was such he talked about in interviews how he was such a uh, just avid fan of like he like I think he said he like he fell asleep with the book like it would mm-hmm. like travel with him ever it was like his favorite book he grew up with the thing he absolutely loved it always wanted to tackle it as a project and finally got to realize that and I'm like someone with that fandom that passion for the source material it comes out in the filmmaking you can tell yeah. that he fucking loved making these two films and the, the third he said too he's like i don't want to rush the third i'm only going to make it when i feel like it's good enough to be made he's mm-hmm. got a script that's almost done now but he even said he goes we might wait a couple years so chalamet ages up because it's set 12 years after and mm-hmm. i want him to look the role so like he's even willing to delay it to let the actor Get Good luck with that. Chalamet is going to be like Brad Pitt. He's never going to age, you know? Well, that's the thing, too, you got to worry about. But, like, that kind of commitment to it, that forethought, like, that's what makes it special. So, this show, I hope the show's good. We'll mm-hmm. see. But anything that comes after number three, like, it's, I don't know, you're going to be chasing a dragon here because what yeah. he did with these two movies, at least so far, has been fantastic. So, if you yeah. haven't seen it, it's both are on max. If you want to refresh yourself with the first one and then check the second one out, it's it's just, it's really fucking good. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That's very good. What do you got, Dougie? Uh, I'm going to recommend the movie If, starring Ryan Reynolds and nice. a whole slew of other people, directed by John Krasinski, who also has a small role in the film. Um, it was a lot of fun. I went with Natalie, um, and it was a lot uh, had, had it was a lot more heartfelt. Okay. A lot more serious than I thought it was going to be. When I saw the trailer, I'm like, oh, this is obviously a perfect kids movie. I mean, it is. It's a PG movie, but... There's definitely like some serious tones. I think uh, one of the criticisms I saw is like it, it kind of like whiplashes <laughs> between silly and like serious. And to a like certain extent, I agree. Quick. Also, it didn't bother me that it did that. So, okay. um, but I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a really good movie. And uh, I know it didn't get the best critic scores, but fuck those guys. So yeah. well, I, I, mean, was, I think uh, the audience amazing. score blew it out of the water, though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. Ryan Reynolds is just a goddamn gem. So he's so much Let's fun see. to. To watch. If on Rotten Tomatoes has forty nine percent on the critic one, eighty eight percent of the audience, and I feel yeah. like that that always says something. If the audience score is like wildly different than the critic score, mm-hmm. it's I think most fans will like the film. Then, yeah, I thought it was fun, so I thought yeah. it was it was a good movie, and and I liked it. So, 
Thanks. Yeah. 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 All right, gang. Well, thanks so much for listening. As always, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're watching us on YouTube. If you're listening on the audio sphere, uh, rate, review, all that fine, fine jazz. Be sure to check our description for links to our Discord. Be part of our family for links to our Patreon and links to our, our merch over there is great. And let us know, you know, if you were to be in a group of all of people named after you, what would that be like? And also, what do you think a group of Dugs and Justins would be like? Do you think they'd be cool? Maybe, maybe not. Let us know. And be sure to follow us on our social medias at MindGap Podcast and check Justin out online as well. On Instagram at Justin underscore Michael, spelled M-I-K-E-L. It's the fun way of spelling it while you're in the online realm. Anywhere where you can find podcasts, you can find us, uh, for the audio versions. So go to your favorite podcasting app, find us subscribe, download the episodes, rate, review, all those things, and then share us around. Let people know that we exist. That goes a very long way in helping us grow what we're doing here. And then twoestate.com, twoestate on Instagram, loveandimprovfilm.com, loveandimprovfilm on Instagram. All right. And with that, I'll say, Justin, thank you. Douglas, thank you. Listeners, viewers, thank you. You all have a dandy fucking week and be sure, stay moist. Mind Gap Pod.